Okay. That's so sure. No? The, uh, the show is underway, I believe. Hi, from Tampa. We've restarted the, uh, the feed, so we can record right from the beginning. Uh, are you going to do that the whole show, buddy? There's thirsty. And we haven't done a grab cast the same once, have we? No, no, no. We uh, cannot get a smooth operating system going to build a fan base, a consistent fan base. One of these days. Hey, you want to take a break on the water so we can do our show here? Uh, anyway, we're in Tampa. Been here since, uh, what, Friday? I mean, the days are blurring together. Uh, we got an a outdoor party today we're going to do. Uh, barbecue. Yes. Every day weekend party in Tampa, Florida. Doesn't get much better than that. Hopefully we'll make some perfect house friends while we're there. From there we're gonna head to the Keys. That's what I'm looking forward to. That's that's been my target city for the, the entire trip was a couple of relaxing days in the Florida Keys. Isn't that where the road just goes out over the water forever? Yes. It just you drive off the end of Florida and hope you hit land again. I guess it's like a I don't know, thirty or forty mile bridge, some crazy shit like that. So how's the trip going going for you, Will? Tough. It's hot. The TPH mobile is temperamental. Uh, like everybody else in the TPH mobile. Yeah, the the TPH mobile is making everybody temperamental with its temperamentalness. It's like an inferno inside the TPH mobile. Um, as much as I'm, I, I, Florida has been the part of the trip I, I'm looking for, I will be relieved when we start heading north. And and get some of that sweet relief. <laughs> a couple nights. I'm looking for that first night of sleeping in the RV when it's 60 degrees. Yeah, yeah. Well, apparently it's 40 in Pennsylvania right, right now. Oh my God, is it really? Yeah, overnight, overnight. Yeah. I wasn't looking for that. Oh well, right now 89 degrees overnight is really kind of nice. <laughs> <laughs> we went through, when we went through Texas, it was 110. Yeah, yeah. It got up to, to 107, 108, and. Got down about 95 at night. That was nice. Yeah, it was refreshing stuff. Uh, let's see. What have we done this week since la our last one? We went to, uh, we stopped in Panama City on our way down to Tampa. Right across the street from Club La Vila for any rock and roll fans out there. That's a big rock club. Is it really? Mm -hmm. I never heard of it. I, I'd always heard of it. Like the, my friends from back home used to go down there and play. Really? And I'd always heard of it, but I'd never seen it. That was really cool. We were parked right across the street. Oh, looks like we've got our, our first guest for, uh, from Tampa. Our, our special guest coming to the, the Gratwick, uh, the Gratcast uh, set. Come on in. What's up, boys? Benson is for haters. Hi. Hi. Oh. Welcome to the show. Hey, what's going on? Please limit the fist bumps. <laughs> yeah, 29. 29. He's our gracious host for the weekend, Dan Gambino. How are you guys doing today? So, uh, how's it been having your, your house in, invaded by the, the TPH gang? It's been an adventure. You know, Aiden's loving it. It's destroying your marriage. <laughs> destroying my marriage? No. Not at all. She's a trooper. <laughs> we're going to have to try harder, man. We're pretty good at destroying relationships. Uh, we're, we're solid. We're solid. <laughs> Kathy's cool group. So why don't you tell us a little bit about this party you're heading to today, Danny? Uh, well, it's a bunch of my friends from work. Uh, probably about 40, 50 people. Nice. And when it's all said and done, a bunch of people hopefully getting drunk. Are you going to get rowdy? It might get rowdy at the poker tournament, so you know. Is there going to be washers? Ah, uh, there will be washers. Oh. Ah. Yes. Bear, calm down. Wait, no, is washers is in washers? Washers. Oh. Have, yeah. I'm an old school hustler in wash shoes. Yep, it's there actually. If you want to know what else I got, in case you want some some uh, walk down memory lane on the ass whoopings, you got can jam in the, in the RV. Oh god, here we go. Here comes Dude. story time. <laughs> story time. <laughs> Fifty-eight straight times, me and Jamie Garrow beat him and him and Joe in can jam. <laughs> All right. Straight time. Proof is over. Proof and over. I don't need to prove Wait, it. Wait, prove it. Well, I can I can probably pull your pants Dang. down and see your tanned ass and still fuck Dang. it. Every single one. I'll be on your team in Can Jam. That'll even me out. Yeah, that'll, that'll help the streak. Happens. That'll fix the streak. Right <laughs> up. I'm a dead eye with that. Frisbee. Right? Yeah, I hope so. Oh my God. Yeah, I, every time. I just don't want to hear them today. Every time it goes like where I throw it. They just had something at uh, Mayor's Park. Yeah, they had the, the, uh, the Can Jam tournament. Yeah. 
I think it's on sale nationwide now. It is. You can have a tournament for it up there. The exporting goods here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just like in Western New York State, is that the only place? I think that was the first. Oh, they're actually starting to start like Detroit. I read, I read it on uh, Tom. All the economically depressed states need to participate. Pretty much. <laughs> Armpit of America. Armpit of America. Even Detroit has a team, huh? That's true. Cleveland and Pittsburgh as well. So pretty much headed that out. You're a city dying. Over North Town Alonzo. The Fading City Can Jam uh, tournament. Does Gary have a team? This dog is loving the shoe. Oh, uh, that's been his ever since. He's a little baby boy. Yeah, I don't know. I would, I would love to have gone on with him, though. I would love for me and Jamie. Like, yeah, like this much, Joe wouldn't be my partner. No offense, Joe. Yeah, I'm not going to put him as the weak link. I think oh, that, was team, that was a team effort. There's two stories. We'll see how many stories we get by the end of this. <laughs> so, uh... How's, how's Tampa life been for you, buddy? It's good. It's good. Ups and downs. You know, moved here six years ago. You're in a gated it. community. Where's the downs? Yeah. <laughs> well, no, the downs is pretty much nothing. The weather when it rains too much. It rains every day. At least it Everything's doesn't stick up. to the ground. What did you say? So at least the rain doesn't stick to the ground. Yeah, not snow. So we got that going for us. It looks like the hurricanes are just going to hit New York and not Florida. So. <laughs> I'm good. So what's uh what's what's the temperature like down here in the in the winter? Uh, high 70s, nice. low 80s, the high, or the highs and the lows it gets down to like 60s at night, 65, 70. That's LA kind of weather. It's perfect. Yeah. You take your family to Tampa to Bush Gardens yet? Uh, we haven't been to Bush Gardens now as a family. Her and I went. Kathy and I went when she was pregnant. The okay. monkeys you walk on your on your hood? No, you, no, we didn't. No, general spire things are what it used to be. Uh, it's, it's good. It's nice. It's cleaned up show now. There's no more risque money. Well, they sold. They sold uh, Bush Gardens to a private owner. So both Bush Gardens aren't owned by. I don't know who they're owned by. I think, I think, Disney, I think Disney was going to try and buy them and use them. I know Legoland's coming. Ooh, yeah. Legoland's going to be over here? Yeah, we're going to get a Legoland. So the kids will love that. I'm going to the one out. I'm waiting for my daughter to come up to LA so I can have an excuse to take her there. Because I want to go for that. I don't think you need an excuse. I've seen pictures on my buddy's, uh, my buddy Rich, mm -hmm. out in San Diego. They, they drove, up, drove up. It's it's awesome. When I was a kid, we used to go to the uh, Fisher Price factory. Uh, and yeah, used to never all the for the parade. Yeah, store. Store. Yeah. And uh, you get a tour of the factory, and they have, like, fucking skylines and planes. The vehicles all made out of constructs. Oh, yeah. it's awesome. Just crazy, man. I used to love constructs. Yeah. Fisher Price made constructs. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Fisher Price made a lot of stuff. I always had Richie's uncle used to work at Fisher Price, so he used to hook you up with all of them. Toys. He wouldn't hook us up, but we get my parents had to pay for it, I think. But they would get Daniels when all the new toys be coming out. Richie always had new stuff, man. Fisher Price is it was good stuff back in the day. Well, I had plastic little rollerblades. They put shoe in. You didn't have to take your shoe off. The uh, the clip on one. Yeah, the clip on one. <laughs> so uh, so um. We need to transition here into the next topic, and I'm drawing a blank. I want to know what is what, how many stops do you guys have? How many stops are you guys looking at uh, between now and when you get into that? It's, it's a fluid, fluid thing. Yeah, it's it constantly changing. changing. The, the, the shows that we have scheduled right now are tonight, next Sunday in Orlando at the Alamo at Aloma Cinema Grill. Say that again. Aloma. There. Spell yeah. island. And <laughs> there's, a, there's an S in island. <laughs> uh, from, from Orlando, we'll be heading north. Uh, we're going to stop a day in Savannah. No show planned, but if anyone wants to help us put a Savannah show on, we're looking for it. Uh, then from there, we're heading to um, Fairfax, Virginia to, to catch some sleep. And then we head into Will's hometown area of Wellsboro. we got a, a Friday night show at a house party, a Saturday pig roast in Wellsboro. Uh, tickets for that one are online on the Ticket Leap site. Uh, that's going to be a big one. And then Sunday in Tioga, Pennsylvania, Tioga. Ti Tioga, Pennsylvania, there's a former strip club that is gutted now. Fred's Woodshed for you locals. Fred's Woodshed. And we're going to do a big screening in there. And then from there, we're going to head towards Albany. Uh, Anthony Ferrer is trying to put something together for us in Albany. From Albany, we're going to head to uh, either Long Island or New Hampshire. Jackie Ravello is trying to put together a show for us in New Hampshire. And Derry. Uh, from New Hampshire, we're going to head to Maine, Portland, Maine. I've always wanted to go up there. We're going to try Maine's and get the whole East Coast right there, cool. right there in the fall uh, leaf changing season. Get all the tours. Is it now? 
We're gonna we're all we we want to pretty mean. Well, you should have seen us driving driving down into what, where was it? Don't you remember raking those in things in your backyard? What's that? Don't you remember raking these? Like you never had these in your backyard? Yeah, but that's where all the tourists go during the season. So we gotta hit them up and go where the people are. Some of the most peaceful trips, parts of the trip, have been where we just get to sit at sundown and drive through some cool yeah. cool landscapes. Um, then from. From uh, Portland, we're gonna head to the Thousand Islands and do a couple days camping on the Thousand Islands before the, before we head back to Buffalo for the release. Nice. And we're gonna try and hit Syracuse and Rochester on the way into Buffalo for the 29th. Cool. And we're nice. currently trying to put something together in Buffalo. Nice. So that's the trip right now. And then from there, the following weekend, we gotta be in Denver. Uh, the film got accepted to uh, well, a special invitation into the Rocky Mountain Horror Festival. Sweet. And uh, then we might head to the Northwest. <coughs> got some friends in Seattle. We'd like to go put a show on. Yeah, we can. Somehow we got a big fan base in Seattle, and we don't know anybody there. Perfect. <laughs> so, all right. I like. I go. I always wanted to see the Emerald City. There's two people that I know there, but other than that, I don't know where the rest of the fans came from up there. They've been working hard, it sounds like. Yeah, I think so. They're the ones that won the t-shirt. Oh, yeah, yeah. The t-shirt. Uh, you met them on uh, the Hollywood Hill. Yeah. Right? That was one of our first uh, um, stranger uh, meetings yeah. that we, we did. Just before we filmed the movie, actually. That was before the movie? That was just before I came came home to do the movie, I think. Wow. Oh. It's a long road. Yeah. You know, I can't wait to straight book you for the jams. I haven't stopped talking about this since you said it. I, I would have stopped thinking about it since I ate 58 straight losses. I wouldn't be able to ever sleep again. If you just twist it. Oh. Oh. I'm going to play washers and I'll let you play can jam. So, uh, oh, I can't wait. what's been your, what's been your uh, favorite part of the trip so far, Will? Um, Panama City was cool. Uh, New Orleans was really San, cool. The Sandspurs? You're a big fan of the Sandspurs? Oh, I hate those little co they're cocklebirds. No, they're Sandspurs. <laughs> That's erroneous. That's an erroneous word. I want to see it in the dictionary. I want to see it in Google. I, I, I think she Andrea just that. said, I'll believe it. But I had a good time saying cockleburs. I ain't buying that. No, thing. she looked it up. She looked it up and said they were the same thing. But cockleburs are just small. No, uh, the sandspurs are smaller and sharper. So I definitely think we were messing with sandspurs. Shenanigans. Uh oh, who do we got? Oh, here's Kathy. What are you doing? Come on in and say hi. Come on in and say hi. No. Say hi to the people. The yeah, yes. Yeah. Come, 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 come on. Come on. Wow, that's, that's the quickest I've ever seen her leave a room. What are you assholes doing in my garage? <laughs> it's a TV show that nobody watches. What's with the head? <laughs> so, uh, so Panama City was your favorite part? I, I can't really say what my favorite part is <laughs> like at all, actually. The only, the only thing I haven't liked about the trip is just the heat has made it kind of hard to deal with. Driving into New Orleans, I think, was my favorite part. Man, some of the swamps and the sceneries, and we were on like this, this two-lane uh, highway that was, I'm guessing it's a lot like the bridge towards Key West, but it was straight through the woods with another one across a, a, like a river or a like water. Nothing like on the way into Key West. Key West is just water around. But yeah, so what I'm saying, the bridge structure is probably the same, except this one was running split. Straight as an arrow for 30, 40 miles, right through the woods, over a swamp, with another uh, column road alongside of it. But in between was a big river or stream, straight down, and then you're in the middle of woods everywhere, and occasionally swamps would open up on the sides. It was it was amazing. Driving yeah. down into Florida off of the 10 was cool too to get to Panama City when the sun was down. That was nice. It cooled off finally. All those nice nice trees and the rolling road. Really back, backwards. It's beautiful. Coming out of the Pan. I think yeah. I was going to dump down the Panhandle. I think I was counting our coins in the back when we went through there because I didn't see much of that. Or or whatever. Sort of thing. We uh, have been keeping close eye on our coin collection as we've we've rolled across the countryside, making sure to roll whenever necessary, and to share our coins with, with as many people as possible. Yeah, we have a big, big thank you to uh, Don... Downey? Downey. Oh yeah, Mike Downey. Downey. Mike Downey. Yeah. We, shared, Mike we Downey. shared some of our coins with him, and in return, he uh, was our newest person to fix up the TPH mobile. Yeah. We're always looking for the, the mechanics, the armchair mechanics along the route. 
Uh, I got to see Danny do more manual labor than I've ever seen you do in my entire life. Yeah, right. Hacking up uh, our, our new metal replacement guard. Hey, you want to watch? You want to watch for uh, the metal shop video mm -hmm. that should be going up at some point. These two uh, uh, make a channel for the this side guy, of the man. You gotta move. You gotta move the uh, piece of metal out of the sun because I'm getting burned. He says as he's watching me, he's holding it with his foot on the table. We gotta move in the shade real quick because I'm getting a little hot. Sweat. There, there Don't was sweat too hard. There was no. You gotta fill a hole in there. There was no functioning reason. Union worker. We had to be in the sun. There was there was no productive reason that had to be done in the sun. You are lazy. I was simply taking it to a more convenient, cool area to do the work. I'm lazy. Because I didn't want to get burned while striking my captain pose to hold the metal down. You can always explain it away with logic, though, somehow. Yeah. It's called flipping it on your, on your side, pretty much. No, it's called... Ah, it's, it's called what it is. Can we go? It's called reality. No, you're always going to... The simple it. fact is, Tell me if I'm in an open, open yard and I have to hold down a piece of metal and, and, and cut it, and I have a choice between the shaded area or the sunny area. You, know, you should keep this thought to yourself and write it in. Why, why would you not pick the shaded area? <laughs> I like how you guys are trying to cut it with a grinding wheel, too. That was awesome. It worked. It did work. It's in there. It would have it worked a lot faster it if you just scored you it. Just snapped I will it say you measured well. Yeah. Oh, dude, that was an After that, that's what all he did was measure. Was it square? Measure twice, cut once. Was, was the hole square when you measured it? Ish. Ish. <laughs> like any old vehicle, I'm sure it gets a little out of joint. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this thing's great, by the way. I will chime in and talk about the RV. The RV is fantastic. Shag wall to wall. I mean, what more could you want in 1972, right? It's I love, awesome. I love the green carpet. Maybe, I love the green carpet. Maybe next Sunday's GraphCast will give a tour of the TPH mobile. That would be a bad exactly idea. Should. Or at least make a video for it. You gotta make its own Facebook page or something. Yeah, correct. The head. <laughs> oh, the head, that, was, the head. that was a great idea. I think the head definitely needs its own fan page. That would be a good place to put all those pictures. Yep. Yeah, the Just head needs fan its own fan page. And the head coming soon. We're going to start a vote on the, on the GrabCast page and see if you guys think the head deserves its own fan page. Who do we got? Who do we got? Special guest. Oh, my brother's on. Alright, we got the switch. Oh, Donnie! Next guest. Alright, I was finishing up. He's ready to put his juice. I just made some. Mike, come on in. Here's me. Mike. Hello, everybody. Welcome Where to the Tampa Grandcast Studios. Yes, we got to you. Hi, everyone. Bino had to go take care of some domestic things, huh? Uh, he has his brother calling a bunch. And yeah, this is some nice chairs. Yeah, I like it. Like it. We're going, try, we're going to try and smuggle these into the cargo bays with a TPH. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. You have your shoe. So, Andrea, we've been asking everybody, what's been your favorite part of the trip so far? Favorite part of the trip so far was New Orleans. I liked going on Bourbon Street, and I liked having the real food. It's a lot better than the, that fake jambalaya stuff that you can make at home yourself with just add water. Without and rabbits? The rabbit didn't bother me. The sausage bothered me, but the rabbit I didn't mind. See? Appar apparently, bunnies are a New Orleans delicacy. I don't see what they have to do with seafood or anything else, but uh, they put bunnies in their jambalaya. They must have a, a, an excess of bunnies down there, and they just you know what I bet put them is, in all their food. I bet the fake places that all the tourists go don't have bunny jambalaya, but the real places, <laughs> like the Coop's place where real people live there, have. I was pretty drunk at that point, but I do remember the jambalaya. It was really good. Yeah. Got a ton of food, too. Holy cow, their plates come gigantic. Not quite Chicago Big Supper style, but the mile, pretty big. The mile walk off the beaten trail to the French Quarter sobered me up nicely. I was just waiting for all those pickpocketers and everything you hear about to come lurching out of the shadows. No way, we had an escort with us. We had a guy showing us where to yeah. go. We were covered. Yeah, the escort was the exact reason I was on my guard. The homeless escort never leads you to the right place. But he did. I gave him a dollar tip. Oh, I walked in a mile and a half. He gave me a dollar. I'm not going to do anything shady to you guys. <laughs> well, we didn't get beaten up on our way back. People it didn't feel as long back when we were walking. No, it didn't. I felt like it was very rough. <laughs> but uh, people love the head on Bourbon Street. Man, that's, he, old Tim was getting passed around like Debbie in Dallas. We got put in people's coolers. Kegs, all the bartenders were taking a pass now around. Sucked a lot of dick. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, he did. All kind of a whore. You can see all the Bourbon Street headshots on the perfecthousemovie.net and click on the head trip uh, icon. And go on, go on, go go down through the Ustream videos and watch me sing uh, "Wanted Dead or Alive" and carry Yeah, this. that was the place that was very happy to have us there. Very, very happy. Kept announcing it all the time. In the next few days, all of that stuff should be up on the New Orleans yeah. dagger uh, in our map. So once you click on the New Orleans dagger, it'll take you to Will uh, and his out of tune "Dead or Alive" on the wrong mic for half of it. And uh, they're bad for having two mics up there, man. I mean, come on, they should both be working. They were both working for the duet that was up there previously. Exactly. Exactly. I love absinthe. Yeah. <laughs> that class. La vie. Like that big chug down. We've got, uh, I think that video's on there too. We have a video oh, yep. of Will chugging a, a, a mug of absinthe. Absinthe? Uh, that really wasn't a shot, and I was supposed to drink it slower than I did. <laughs> oh yeah, Mark Turner came over very surprised just about 10 seconds after she poured it for you. <laughs> Crappy thing is we have been unable to monitor the Gradcast feed to see if anybody's been talking or commenting or asking questions. I have it up on my computer in the other room. Awesome. Ox has it up. That doesn't help us at all though. No. No. Ox, if you're watching and anyone's asked questions, Please run in here and let us know what the questions are before we wrap this up. Uh, Bear is still alive and on the journey. He has been uh, as temperamental as the TPH mobile at times. He's been getting a little feisty lately. I think he's got a little stir crazy. Understandable. He bit Chris yesterday. He's not used to being uh, restrained all the time and away from his people. No, he bit Chris two days ago during my confession, remember? Yeah. Anthony's he breaks skin, but... Hi, Anthony. Anthony. Anthony He's working on something, he says, but I'm not sure what that means. Anthony will be joining us uh, from from Wellsboro through Buffalo for the second two weeks. Nice. We're I hope you're ready for a very tight, hot he says, RV he says ride. he's allergic to, to Bear. He's bringing Brenda to roll because... Oh, that might be a good idea because Bear, unfortunately, is definitely staying. We are, uh, we'll, we'll be trading an ox for a Ferrari. Ferrari? <laughs> <sighs> yeah, it's, pretty, it's getting hot in here, isn't it? Yeah, 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 the garage You can tell it's going to rain outside. <clears throat> yeah. If it is humid, it's going to But yesterday, the best thing ever, we're being told that it's going to rain every day between 4 and 5 o'clock at some point. So I'm taking Bear out at 3.30, at 4, trying to get him as much out as possible before it starts raining. Doesn't rain at all. <laughs> Not at all. Till we go to bed last night, and then it's just a little bit of downpour. I was hoping it was going to rain for a while last night. I was really hoping that was going to cool things off for us. Cooled it off a little bit in the RV. Yep, we decided to only have two people stay in the house, and Chris and I stay in the RV, so that way... A few of us get to sleep in when the kids are waking up. When the baby, when the when the, when uh, the boy woke up this morning, I went up to his room. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably a really good idea. That's what me and Andrew used to do, did when we were in Chicago. They they were all up at what fucking. Oh, it was so 6:30, hot. 7 in the morning, we were sleeping on hardwood floors or couches that were corduroy. And it was a heat wave. My uncle doesn't like to put on the AC that often because he isn't in the house that often. He's always gone on work or whatever. So it was steaming hot all day. And then he'd come in at like midnight, turn on the AC for a whole five hours, except it didn't pump in the living room as much. It got to the basement in the bedrooms. In the living room where we were, we went from couches to wooden floor to in the morning, mom and dad would get out of the bedroom and go, you guys want to go to bed? We'd run downstairs to the basement and sleep for another five, six hours. Me and Andrew would lay on the hardwood floor until about six in the morning, wide awake, so we couldn't sweet sleep, just dripping in sweat, and our parents would wake up. You guys can go downstairs on the bed now, and we'd go to sleep at about six in the morning. This is when you guys went to Chicago? Yeah, yeah. They, they got hit with a heat wave, though. It was just brutal. You were there at the same time they were floating transformers, weren't you? Yes, we yeah. were. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so we tried to break in across the bridge. Oh, that's right. You guys tried to. The, oh, that's right. You guys tried to do the extra. You I was this extra. close to getting it until Chris is all. I just want to go bar hopping. Andrew and wanted to spend our. Get us across the bridge so we could get to the bar. We wanted across the bridge. Andrew wanted to spend our one night in Chicago uh, to drinking on on Rush Street and everything. She wanted to spend it doing manual labor or extra work. 
on, on a set of transformers for the next eight to ten hours. Do you realize we got across the street past the cops, over to where the closed set was, where the PA was actually talking to the other PA at the other side, where we were this close to being walked across the entire bridge set where everything had been blown up? Yeah, we almost got to walk across that. But somebody wanted to go get a drink right away instead. I can go on sets every day in LA. I could care less about the sets. Don't want to see Rush Street. Which, if I remember correctly that night, we bar hopped all, uh, all over the place to Chicago heading for Rush Street. And then we got to about within a block of Rush Street and everybody was tired and ready to go home. Let's so we, just say, if you want to come street. crawl, it's definitely fun. Mm -hmm. You might want to start on the street you want to be on. Is that what you're working that, with? That guy from high school or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah twice. He's on the train the following yeah. us back. <laughs> How weird was that? Oh, good boy there. How are you doing? I'm working on the Amityville Horror House, but it looks like it was actually sold. Nah. Oh, so quick. And we have to say hi to Tim Kelly who was watching us. Hi, Tim. Is Tim Kelly a fan on the Facebook page? We only say hi to our fans. Jesus Christ, we have five viewers. Holy Hello, Jesus. Everybody. We've got a personal record. I think we're three of them are in the living room, probably. <laughs> we're 26 minutes in. Well, start, start bringing this thing in for a landing. Yeah, as soon as you get viewers, now you're going to end it. Um, I've got TPH Mobile coming up on a, a rough stop. Got the show tonight. We got the show tonight. Um, then tomorrow we head off to Key West for the week. Before Orlando. If you haven't gotten your Orlando tickets, go to TicketLeap.com. Get your Orlando tickets now. If you're not in Orlando, find somebody in Orlando to tell them about Orlando. And anybody up in Wellsboro? The location for the round top viewing has not worked out. So if anybody's got a good suggestion, I'm working the Amityville Horror House, but it looks like it was actually that's Ferrara. Wait a minute. So oh. we don't have a show right now in Wellsboro. <laughs> we don't have the location that I hoped we were going to get. Uh, Doesn't your dad own a huge farm? Yeah, we're, we're concerned about the restroom situation. Mm. I could see it for girls. The boys go behind the barn. Mark Mark's looking into getting a porta potty right now. Or it's it's redneck Hollywood, so you guys just have so to. So why don't we dig a yeah? Why don't we dig a hole and freaking throw some sticks over it like they, like they used to do back in the day? I just tell them to go in the barn. That too. We'll get a pork pie for the girls. I think a hole in a bucket is all you need. That's what they used to do. Gross. They got something. It's got so many wells for It's got a wooden toilet stand for <laughs> over, for pooping over a hole. I'm not buying that. There's not some punters that got themselves a. A, a makeshift toilet seat. We could get one of those beach toilets. You know what I'm talking about? They come on a little pulley and it gets a tiny little tent that goes around you and you kind of like sit, like kind of like the handicapped toilet that they have. You just kind of have a little thing around you and you sit and no one quite knows what you're doing. You get out and you're like pulling up your pants. Well, if anybody's got a toilet suggestion, send that to us too. <laughs> For Redneck Hollywood on Round Pop in Wellsboro on September 17th, be there. If there's a there to be at. Oh, there will be. There will be. So uh, next week we'll be we'll be broadcasting from Bill Bryant's. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Stuart the Florida. The former Sweeney Street Bar is now going to be the Stuart Florida Bar. Bar. The Stuart Bar. Margarita Maker is coming out. Yeah, rumor has it it's lubed up and and been worked in. So on a, a lubed up and worked in reference, let's uh, wrap up this crack cast. Until next week, follow us on Facebook to see where we're at. And we'll see you next Sunday from Bill Bryan's. Or where the TPH won't be all ended. Hopefully not in a drink. Right off that bridge going to Key West. Oh, God. <laughs> I hope we're not too heavy. Can you swim there? Can you swim? No, you can actually. Can. Kind of can. Signing off. Oh, I we. Uh